There we go. That was a great one. I was doing a uh, a project and I was up till like four o'clock in the morning and I forgot I had my speaker on really loud and I was like starting to doze off and my my After Effects project was like rendering. It had taken like an hour and I'm dozing off and all of a sudden this the 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 really loud a uh, little blingy noise came on. It scared the living crap out of me. It took me about five minutes for my heart to slow down. It was it was it was, it was, it was I thought it was, it was yeah it was funny. You had to be there. Anyway, let's get started again. Uh, so let's let's create a new piece of geometry so I don't have to screw around with this. Okay, so go up to plane, hit X, start, corner, corner, here we go. Actually, let's let's just make a random piece of geometry so I can show you some other stuff here. Just a random piece of geometry, um, uh, plane, and go over to attribute editor, go under polyplane 1, which should be the third tab in, and we'll go down and see width, height, subdivisions, height, width, and those are, you know, the various edges, adding geometry and such in, into your, into your, uh, uh, geometry, into your geometry, I guess. Um, so I'm going to go to a width, height, and figure out what size you, you want. So, 24, 24 is the size of this guy here. Each little box equals 1. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 times 2 is 24. So width of 24, height of 24 equals 1 box. So we'll just use 24, 24. So the width is set to 24, and it's at a 3 to 3 to 2 aspect ratio. So 24 equals 720. And 480 would equal, that's where our math comes in. So, 3 to 2. Get my trusty uh, Texas Instruments TI-83, which is an awesome piece of machinery. So, we're going to go to 24. Oh, let's no, start with uh, 3 divided by 2 equals 1.5. No, we don't want that. So, it's 2 divided by 3. It's 0 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, uh, 7. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take that times 24, get 16. Excellent. So we know the hit width to height ratio is 24 by 16. And that should be our exact uh, 3 to 2 ratio. Um, 720 by 480. And now let's import our image. So I'll go to Lambert again. Drag that baby down, go to color, checker box, click on file, click on the file two, image name, go over to the little file, and we're going to go to desktop, teleport to, import the images, there we go, select, right click, assign material to selection, and there we go. And the UVs are just a tad off. As you can tell, he's a little stretched out here. Um, that's because when we laid out our um, image plane to begin with, it wasn't square, and so the UVs are off. But like I showed you before on how to fix that, is easily just go to, top, to the to the top uh, camera view and make sure the uh, geometry selected. Go to create uh, UVs, planar mapping. There you go. You're all set. And go to Hypershade. And we're going to do the right click thingy. So right click on Lambert, uh, center click on Lambert 2, drag it right onto the uh, um, uh, geometry. And there you go. It's all set. Ready to go. So now you have a 720 by 480 um, uh, image sequence on its equivalent in Maya. Uh, image size, 3 by 2 um, image plane in Maya. And hopefully I'm not too confusing. Uh, I, I have a tendency to ramble on a bit and confuse myself. So um, if you have any comments or questions, just let me know. Um, I'm going to try and, uh, when I get a little bit more time, clean this, this tutorial up a little bit uh, later on and repost it. So hopefully I'm not like studying over myself and stuff like that. So, okay, uh, I think the next one I'll do, um, if anyone's interested, I'm going to do another one on 
a little bit more extensive on UVs because that can be a pain in the ass. But uh, when I learned it, it was a pain in the ass. And now I actually enjoy doing it because it's like like a big puzzle thingy. It's 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 yeah. Anyway, um, okay, that's it. I'm done. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. If you have any ideas, uh, please you know give me an email. I'll you know do some research and put out a tutorial for you. And yeah, that's it. I'm done. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.